What's good, y'all? Super Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about what's going on with Bobby Lashley. Apparently, he's been removed off the WWE internals ro uh, internal roster. We don't know what's going on. I've seen some tweets about it, so we're gonna check this out. Um, I mean, we haven't really seen Bobby Lashley on television for quite some time, so this is kind of a a big shocker that you know he's potentially you know maybe leaving wwe relatively soon we don't know what's going on here so we're gonna check this out um appreciate all the love and support y'all showing on the channel let's see what's going on with this whole bobby lashley situation biggie calls bobby lashley a monster a specimen a professional and a gentleman biggie speaks highly of bobby lashley on july 21st the wrestling world started buzzing about bobby lashley as fight fightful uh select reported that his WWE contract is up within the next month or so, possibly over the course of weeks. The reporter, uh, the report confirmed that Lashley has been removed from the internal roster, though he's still on the company's official website. Biggie took to Twitter uh, slash X amid the buzz and shared a gif of Bobby Lashley along uh, with a message about the former WWE champion. He called him a monster, a specimen, a professional, and a gentleman. Uh, Lashley was uh, Lashley has not wrestled since the WWE live event on May 5th, and he has not had a match on WWE television since April 12th episode of WWE SmackDown. Fightful will provide more information about his uh, status as it becomes available. Lashley was involved in one of the highlights of Biggie's career. Biggie cashed in his Money in the Bank contract and beat Lashley to win the WWE Championship on September 13, 2021's episode of WWE Raw. Biggie recently provided an update after he received stem cell treatment, and I think we checked that out as well. But yeah, this is all that we really know right now. I don't think there's any other extra news other than he's been removed from the internal uh, internal roster, still on the website uh, active roster, but we haven't seen him in quite some time. I want to say uh, he was at a house show for May 5th, but on television, we haven't seen him since April 12th. We're already in July. That's crazy. And we don't know what's going on. I mean... Obviously, they still been doing stuff with the Street Profits. I know recently they had them feuding um, with uh, um, the uh, the group with uh, y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't even think of them because uh, they, they haven't really <laughs> been uh, a high profile group. They're trying to make them uh, with Karrion Cross. He, he Karrion Cross in the gang. <laughs> y'all know who I'm talking about. <laughs> but either way, I know they have been feuding with them for a little bit. But I don't know, man. They they haven't they've kind of just moved forward just b fab and the street profits are doing their own thing and we don't see bobby lashley and bobby lashley was the i guess you could say the head guy on creating that whole group i mean at one point y'all remember bobby lashley recruited them and we thought we were going to get a, a new heel stable or a new uh hurt business 2.0 and it just sucks that that fell through and I believe MVP had said something a while back um, where he was talking about Triple H doesn't care about black, black wrestlers or something like that. Like, you know, he was very outspoken about that. And it's just it's becoming one of those things where in the Vince McMahon era, the Hurt Business was actually something that fans were invested in and wanted to see more of. And I think I've seen a recent report or somebody talk about how Vince didn't care. Like they were trying to figure out what they were going to do with them. And Vince didn't have no real plan. They, you know, they put them together. The fans liked it. It was well received and wanted to see them do more and get back together. But Vince didn't want to do it. Simple as that. So you would think in the Triple H era of creative control. And then they started doing something with. Bobby and the Street Profits and got B-Fab in the mix. I'm like, okay, we got something. You know, they had their little feud with Karrion in the game. At WrestleMania, I'm going to keep calling them that. Y'all can correct me down below. Um, They got the much-needed win, 
you, you're trying to figure out, all right, what they're going to do with them. They did nothing. Nothing. That's it. And then I don't know if Bobby had, uh, was dealing with a potential injury at some point. So I don't know if that's the reason why he was held off. But they, it's like they don't have nothing for him, which I think you can have something for Bobby Lashley to do. You can. You can build these guys up as, you know, you know, a credible team, a credible faction. I don't know. I just feel like them letting him go, potentially, if they don't have nothing for him, I think that's a waste. I truly think that's a waste. You don't let Bobby Lashley go. The guy can still go in the ring, and the fans actually care about him. Fans want to see him, you know, potentially climb that mountain again. There's things you can do with Bobby Lashley. You know, there's things you can do with having him with the Street Profits. Like, I don't know, man. This It's not a good look, I will say that. For him to have been in the Vince McMahon era, he got the WWE Championship. He was in a uh, main event uh, feud and stuff like that. So that was cool. But then they kind of dropped the ball with him in the end. And the Hurt Business stuff, that was cool until they dropped the ball with that. And then in his Triple H era, it's, it's like... They started to do something, and then they dropped the ball again. And now there's a good chance he probably won't resign. I don't know. If he does resign or they come to some type of agreement, they need to put him in something serious. He deserves to be in some type of spot. He does. So I don't know. Y'all let me know. How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all think Bobby Lashley will... um? walk away from wwe again do y'all think this is it for bobby lashley and wwe do y'all think maybe they'll come to some type of agreement and if bobby lashley does stay what would y'all do with him how would y'all like i guess book him going forward for him to be a main player on smackdown or on monday night raw or wherever he'll be y'all let me know how y'all feel about all of this right now once again it's all speculation so we don't know for certain what's going on but if there is any update i definitely will drop a video or if y'all know anything or have any updates drop it down below in the comments and you know we can have that discussion but i appreciate all the love and support roads 150k appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace